everyone, today I am doing a very quick video on pandas and pans in adulthood. Now, pandas and pans are acronyms and the first letter stands for paediatric, which means children's. But it isn't just a children's condition. Although the onset is normally in childhood, it isn't always. The National Institute of Mental Health lifted the age restriction for a pans diagnosis because adults can develop it for the first time. And with pandas, it is said, the diagnostic criteria, it has to happen the first onset before the age of 12. This may not always happen because that was mainly put there for uh, research purposes to make it easier to sort of get a sample for research, but also because around 98% of people are immune to strep by the age of 12, but not everyone. If adults can get rheumatic fever, which is another condition that can arise after a strep infection, then adults can get pandas as well. Um, but yes, as well as this, people who had pandas pans symptoms in childhood and are feeling better now, they're in remission, can have flares in adulthood if exposed to strep or another trigger. And this is an issue because um, most of the support is mainly based around children. And this is great because, of course, children with pandas pans desperately need support. Um, but because it's mainly paediatricians who are aware of it and most of the awareness stuff is aimed towards kids, I think there are adults who don't really know where to turn when they have a flare. Um, and these adults may be managed by uh, an adult uh, mental health system, but this system tries to manage through therapies, which can be helpful for some people. However, for people with pandas pans, it doesn't address all the symptoms, and people with pandas pans may be too severely disabled by the symptoms to see any benefit from the therapy. And they prescribe medications like antidepressants and antipsychotics, which some people do respond to, but again, quite a lot of people in the pandas pans community do not respond to these medications. So something more needs to be done. Adults have a right to get the right treatment to decrease the inflammation in their brain and eliminate the triggering infections. So I think it's important for me to say that, and as well as that, people who have untreated pandas pans, their symptoms can persist into adulthood. It's possible that some people may not realise that they have pandas pans until they are an adult, because people may be diagnosed with Tourette syndrome, classic OCD, um, or autism, or something along those lines, and then something may change as an adult, they may get an infection, and suddenly everything collapses, you know, suddenly everything gets bad. Then they realise that maybe this is pandas pans, but if they're an adult, it's it can be harder to get a diagnosis. Um, so I, I do think that more awareness needs to be put in place for uh, adults with pandas pans, as well as for kids, of course, because awareness in general is desperately needed for pandas and pans. Um, but I think support for adults is really important um, and being aware that it isn't just for kids. Some people use the term basal ganglia encephalitis. It not i don't th i don't think it's a clinical term i'm not sure but some people use it in interchangeably with pandas and pans because it isn't exclusively like for children that that label um and as well as this i saw something that said when someone has a flare the flare after it can be uh, more severe and have a longer duration than the last flare and if this is true, then adults with pandas pans who had an onset in childhood have likely already had many flares. If they have a flare in adulthood, if it is worse than it was as a child, I can't even imagine. But, you know, that would be horrific. Therefore, people desperately need that support. They really, really do if it, if it, if it can be worse. Um, so, yes, I, I do see that awareness is increasing and that is fantastic. I do see that so many people are working to raise awareness and that is fantastic but it is always important to bear in mind that it isn't just a kid's condition there's so many adults living with it probably so many adults who don't even know they have it um they might be diagnosed with something else don't, they don't know that antibiotics could make them feel better they don't know that anti-inflammatories can make them feel better so i believe that awareness is important 